that there be peace and love among all beings of the universe. Let there be peace. Let there be peace. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaskar. Beloved Papaji, since three weeks I am here in Lucknow and my busy going Western mind becomes more and more quiet. With the grace and love you gave to us in satsang. In Germany I lead a very busy life as a midwife. I don't work in hospitals but accompanying the women during labor at home, at home. We try to welcome the babies in a warm and natural surroundings. Without many technical instruments and medical interventions, I try to be with the mother by helping to to give better uh, what a breather this one this. Helping, helping to breathe huh? giving helping to breathe giving relief hmm? this is breathe Helping to breathe, giving relief to go into the pain and accept the things as they happen. <clears throat> so the babies are born in a quite peaceful and loveful surroundings. The most of the German doctors and hospitals are firmly against this kind of labor for many reasons, but their main argument is that this kind of birth is not safe. So I have sometimes quite difficulties to go on in this way of working because only a few people understand why I am working like this. This year it happened to me that I was involved into a birth when the uh, the, the child was born with brain damage. The medical authorities blamed me for this case. Their argument was that the child didn't get enough oxygen during labor and this wouldn't have happened in, the, in their hospital. Even though that I know that this is not correct, I still I still had the feeling of being being quietly being guilty. I was scared by all these powerful authorities. 
Dear Papa Ji, how can I remove the feeling of being guilty? How can I get rid of the fear and the fight with authorities? Is there anything I am responsible for for claiming labor? Does the child choose the way how it is born? Since many years I am allowed to accompany company women during labor and it is a bit like satsang when the baby is born there is a lot of peace and love peace and love dear papaji i thank a lot for all i could experience i am full of love I thank you, Evie. E V I Evie. So during this childbirth in Germany, the German German hospitals and midwives have they not switched on to Frederick Leboy's birth in the swimming pool. <laughs> Yeah. No, mm. but it has become very popular throughout the world. And this Frederick came to see me in south of France. He is from Paris, Le Boyer, it is called, and he has written a book also. The name of the book is Shantala. Have you read? You read it. Uh, so he came to see me in south of France and stayed for one month and explaining to me this method for the first time when the, the mother must sit into the swimming pool and deliver the child. So I asked him what is the use of this and then he said he will not be afraid of water, he can swim. And this boy born in the the buyer method needs no teacher to teach him swimming. <laughs> like fish, he will swim and you can put it. So no fear to the child and no fear to the mother. I think this is the best way to start in all the countries, but in India, I don't think it will work. <laughs> and there's no problem also. The woman, during the labor, they didn't go to hospitals, and still in the villages, they don't. So the child was born in a natural way. This was natural way, and the midwife in the village, if she gives birth to a son, she will get one rupee for attending on her, and if daughter, 50 paisa. <laughs> Fifty pesos only. So daughters, they don't like from the birth itself. And the rates are reduced to 50 percent. So, so it was the, the births, and the child was happy, the mother was happy, and the midwife was also happy. She got one rupee for the child birth. And the mother was happy. She had not got to go to any hospital in the house itself, and the child was quite good, you see. So all the children so far were born, I think, up to 50 years ago. They were all born in their own houses. Now there are nursing homes. The rich mothers go there, you see. So you are a midwife at this age, I think, it's a very good, uh, compassionate job for you to help these people. You don't get afraid. 
you carry on on your way and try to give a experiment on this labayer way also hmm? Hmm? Yeah. you do it okay i see Dear Papaji, when I was about six year old, we went on a family outing to Sea World, which was a show featuring stunts done by dolphins and whales. At one point, the host of the show requested two volunteers from the audience which was huge. I don't know how or why, but I raised my hand and I was called to the stage with the other volunteer. The host then said that each of us would receive a kiss from the dolphin. So, ladies first, and I am standing at the edge near the pool and the dolphin came bent over to me and I just ran away. <laughs> this incident which I hadn't thought of for years is my mind lately together with thoughts concerning process that I feel I am going through here in Lucknow. Why were you afraid? Why did you run away when the dolphin came to kiss you? Why did you run away? Hmm? I was afraid. I was afraid. You were afraid of a dolphin? I did. <laughs> but she is coming to kiss you only. <laughs> And then if you are afraid of a dolphin, you ran away, but now you have to receive a kiss from a crocodile. <laughs> so what do you choose? What do you choose? Run away like from a dolphin or? Hmm? What? Hmm? She prefers the dolphin. Ah, like this. <laughs> so those who prefer a dolphin, they cannot get the kiss of the crocodile. But for final consumption of your body, mind, activities, and the rest will not be swallowed by dolphin. He only will kiss you, you will like, and some others also will like, and again they will go to the same swimming pool to receive the kiss of the dolphins. And many people are being kissed by the dolphins, and it gives them more and more trouble. But why don't you face a crocodile so that instantly you get happiness. <laughs> Nothing to worry. Nothing to worry. You are safely lying in the stomach, you see. <laughs> safely lying. So you don't be afraid of this crocodile. Everybody, of course, they were all the volunteers there were for the kiss of the dolphin, but now so many people have volunteered themselves 
to kiss or to receive the kiss from a crocodile. They are here only. And those dolph dolphinators <laughs> will stay for a couple of days and go away to New York. <laughs> I thank you, Papaji. Flowers. Yes. This also. You know this is from whom? Can you imagine, eh? And in that mental asylum, do they teach this painting also? It's better to go there. It's very good painting. So, very good painting. She was not a painter before, I think. It was very comfortable, she thought, many people. And she, this girl is afraid of dolphins, and how many people lifted her and put her into the ambulance and admitted to the nursing home, and without any, any training in the art college. And she has learnt a very good painting. And next time, perhaps, she will be much more better than, than any other painter in the world. <coughs> and she will become the painter of France. What was the name? Picasso. Painter. Picasso. In, eh? Picasso. Ah, Picasso, yes, yes. She knows. Why don't you know that? Picasso. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I've seen his painting of Picasso. <laughs> Ugo from Munchen is here? No, his wife. Huh? He's the husband of Saraswati. She's not here. Dear Papaji, since I left you last time, there had been so many questions I would have liked to ask you. They are, all have vanished in the very moment I sat down to write to write to the, uh, write to you. They immediately lost 
meanings and I felt they had been answered. All but one. What is, what is it that keeps me again and again from staying continuously in the awareness of I am? One question. Eh? And that question is, what is it that keeps me again and again from staying continuously in the awareness of I am? Hmm. I asked Saraswati to bring my question to Satsang. Please, Papaji, answers. Saraswati will bring me the tape. Okay, I will give her the answer, which cannot be given in Satsang. So, when Saraswati is leaving, when Monday. she is, hmm? Monday. Achha, Sunday then. Sunday you, she can come to our place. Dear Papaji, now I stay here for two weeks and I feel like I am in a sticky honey, honey knot. I like sweets, but the honey is also in my wings and I can't fly with the swarm of swarm of bees here by by you in the satsang. Every word I want to say can't explain what is happening with me. I only know that this feeling has always been with me from my whole life. This is like a beautiful yearning for what I have never realized. And when I look at this yearning, tears come out and I cannot give them a direction what it is not or what, where it goes. Is this important? The water is looking at this. It's a yearning to get deep con contacts to your love and myself and to everybody's heart. But every time I have the feeling I cannot realize it. And then I am in big trouble. It looks like I have no trust in me and in others. Now I know it is all the time uh, round about between thoughts and emotions. And there is no end. This makes me confused. Hmm. 
tennis match goes on and on and the ball goes from one side to another. How could I stop this misery to be happy with that what is sand, with that what is not? I want to find the silence that you mean and to let go this silence I experience which is rather being out of order without energy. And now I have another question. What can I see when I look into your eyes? Is it the soul or is it only the eye that I see or what else? It is very nice that you are here with me and I love you. What's your name, Bert? Berta. Huh? Berta. 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 <laughs> <laughs> What's he writing? B I R T H E. Berta. 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 Your question is what is what is it that I see when I look into your eyes? And this you have to tell me, what do you look? <laughs> have you ever closely looked in the retina of any other person so far? Yes. I think so. Huh? I think so. Think? <laughs> what you got to think? What you got to think? You look in and you will see, you tell me now, you will get the answer. Hmm? And the best eye that you have to look I will tell you, you bend your body, you bend your body at five, 45 degree to the left. <laughs> ah, yeah, look. Ah. And now go close. Go close. Close up. 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 <laughs> Now you look into his eyes. Say to look into the retina and tell me. You are not still looking. Look into the retina and tell me what you look. That's not possible. You look into the eyes. You, must, you will see something. Closely look here, inside. Inside, yeah. You go close. You see. Uh, uh, yeah. you to see the beauty of the eyes, I say you look into the eyes itself. 
and tell me what do you see? Hmm? Hmm? It's nice, it's have. <laughs> huh? He don't, uh, he don't reach me. Hmm? <laughs> he doesn't reach her. He, he doesn't, doesn't reach her. <laughs> she is still not getting what I give. Hmm? Okay, you look in her eyes. <laughs> now, if you are afraid of Hanuman, then <laughs> just now. Just. <laughs> I, both of you, you tell me what you see in, in her eyes, or you tell me what is in her eyes. Go close. My reflection hmm? in her eyes. Ah, that's good answer. <laughs> <coughs> that is good answer. Why can't you see? You closely see. Go no. She got the answer, but now you confirm. Hmm? Any reflection? Yeah. Ah, yeah. <laughs> this is German head. <laughs> <laughs> You will see your own reflection, your own nothing. Not the eyes, you don't see any eye, your own reflection. So that is what you see in my eyes. But you do not know. So this is to be seen when you see any eye, any person, it is your own reflection. Then you will be happy to see everybody. I think this has come to look into your eyes. <laughs> Perhaps. And anybody will ask, any will volunteer themselves to look into your eyes. Papaji, <coughs> beloved prince of Nirvana land, once upon a time there was a small girl, her name was Vedanta. She was living with her parents on the Heart Rose Bridge. <coughs> and then on the left side of the bridge is I saw. Tao land and Papaji land and Nirvana land on the left side of the bridge. And on the right side of the bridge is <coughs> Ego land, wood stored land, and moon, moon lock land. So it's good to see, not to hear. You can only see. They made a very good link between two lands, nirvana one side, ego on the other side. Traveling around this world, she got lost in England. No, ego land. <laughs> Just like England, she right. England. 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 Papaji, is it allowed to sing today, I am Vedanta Maria? 
Okay, you come here. Now today is is uh, Tuesday and I can't make any excuse for the <laughs> cricket. Because there's no cricket now today. <laughs> so we have a lot of time. So unless the food is ready, I <laughs> You send me back to Austria to let go of some things. I want to come back to Lucknow as soon as possible and stay with you until it is done. Please prepare me for your K.O. punch <laughs> so that the mind cannot survive for sure. Please teach me how to be quiet and I cannot do it myself. I have tried for many years. I need your grace. Jayant. This is, the answer is on the back of your card. And this is the answer. And to be quiet and happy, this is the way you can do it. Do you understand? Have you any, eh? Only mentally, Papaji. Hmm? Only mentally. Yes, even mentally is enough. <coughs> And for physical, it will involve you in some problems. <laughs> so only... Only mental is quite enough. And now your mind mentally meet another mind which you love. Mentally, <coughs> you are from Austria, no? Okay. So anybody in Austria whom you love, so you mentally embrace each other. Why he got cough right here? <coughs> mm. Are you not quiet now? Mm? <laughs> yeah. And what did you do? Because some people had just now asked, our mind is not quiet, how to how to be quiet and you instantly came. And you have done nothing, only I showed you the photo. One picture I showed you. And I can find from the eyes of a person if it is eye of the monkeys <coughs> or a divine eye. Only the divine eye can keep quiet. And this is the clue which I give you. And you transmit your mind, as this girl had made a very good photo of Nirvana land to the ego land, you see. That will not do. Ego and Nirvana. And here, your eye is Nirvana eye, and look, another eye also of Nirvana eye. Then you keep quiet. <coughs> so 
I am very happy. Here the other girl did not look into the eye and could not find the reflection. And now you see the eyes, the love is reflecting between each other, you and someone in in burn or somewhere else. In burn? Yeah, okay. Okay. And let it be in the whole of Austria. <laughs> and now you look at it, what is happening? And now do you see any other person in the satsang, any other form, any other name? any other physical activity of anyone, because here your activity is stopped now. And this is called love, happiness and nirvana also. You have to stay such like this, whether in satsang or outside, you see. In the last few days, many questions have arisen, but the answer to them all is silence. In satsang, close to you, I touch this silence, away, away from you and <coughs> the satsang bhavan, <coughs> especially of the days when you are not here. The old mind again crowds, <coughs> crowds in. In less than two weeks I will be leaving. Before I go, I want to find a seed of silence which I can carry into my new work situation when I return. Pritam. Hmm? So when you go, you do the same thing as this man has done little while ago. Same thing, same technique. Just recollect or remind what you love most in your life. And don't touch anything else, and just for one moment, and this love will come onto the surface, which you ignored for quite a long time. You have been playing on the surface, surface only, and this was not stable. They arose, stayed, and left. But this love is deeper <coughs> underneath. There are no waves, no rises, and no falls. You just look at it now, and that's all you have to do. And nothing else. Don't fall in love with the wave. Hmm? They don't last for a long time. They will just move about and finish. <laughs> so everything that rises has a fall. So you don't touch anything that appears, because it will soon disappear. Look within, where there is no 
form and no name. And if you understand, if you don't touch any form and any name, then you will know who are you. And this is called freedom. Your lessons and satsang seem to be gracing open my very soul. <clears throat> I have learnt that to trust you, to trust you is to gain peace. I have learnt that in each word, in each smile, and in each frown, and by your being, there is the same consistent grace given to me. This person, the music teacher, sang a song for you on Saturday, and you use the words movie star. <clears throat> Later that night she had a dream where she was coming out of a cinema which lot of laughter, surrounded by satsang family, then she stopped. Her daughter was coming towards her, smiling and said, at last the movie is over. I have been waiting a long time. I looked over my sh shoulder. The satsang family were not there. You were, you were there, also smiling. Then I woke up. <coughs> burning with some kind of heat. In that moment, again I felt something that I can only, only describe as love of nothing and of no object. It was as if I truly knew what ego was, that it is only a habit that blocks true freedom. True humility is a gift. I can only say that to be here with you in satsang continues to bring surprises of profound joy and love. I would very much like you to give me a new name, Felicity. Felicity is a, <coughs> a woman's name or a man's name? A woman's name. Huh? A woman's name.
and this name was given to you by your parents okay. parents and don't you think they made a mistake <laughs> giving this name uh, no, for the last three days I have No, no, not your fault. The fault of the parents, they didn't know what name to give. Yes. Huh, yeah. They should have. <laughs> <laughs> All parents make mistakes, you see. <laughs> if it is a why they gave girl's name? <laughs> Many times it has happened. They do not know. Hmm. But your experience is wonderful. Eh? Your experience is wonderful. I give name on the experience one has and not uh, a girl or a boy. That I don't touch, whatever it is. <laughs> This your letter? Yes. This. It is only a habit that has blocked my true freedom. Humility is a gift. <coughs> mm. 
This is the name which means <coughs> auspicious birth. From the birth, someone is very lucky to have this birth of human life to win freedom. And also, it is compassion to others. Knowing it, what is truth, then out of compassion you have to speak to your friends and family. So this name is called Mangala in Sanskrit. And it has many other meanings also. It is one day of the week also, which is today. <laughs> today is also called, this is Mangal Day. Tuesday is called in Indian calendar, Mangal. Means anything that you do today, they wait for this day. This day, if they have to perform anything very important, marriages and other celebrations, they pick up this day among the seven days of the week. I think the felicity also means the same thing. Felicity also means the same thing, yes. Navina, Navina, Navina. <coughs> I am glad you speak the truth. You speak the truth in the letter also, and not like others. They ask some questions, but the purpose is different. So, you, there's no purpose about you sitting here, isn't it? No purpose. And only one purpose, and that some, I think most of the people do not know. For what is the purpose of your sitting here? No purpose, you say. And the one who sits in front of me with no purpose, then he gets everything. And this is what God also has said, promised. What is the promise of God? When my devotee comes to me, and ask me anything, instantly I give. Some people want a boy, young boy, beautiful boy, and long life. I give instantly, because I don't have dearth of boys. <laughs> I can hand over as many as she wants and also the girls to the boys. So I immediately deal with this transaction. You go to the shopkeeper, ask for a thing, you get and pay the money, go away. Like this, God also is very happy with this kind of people who ask something. He gives boon. God, when you see, asks you, ask me, what do you want? I want such and such thing. Take it, finished. But then God also is very afraid sometimes. <coughs> Don't think that you are afraid. He also has fear. He also is afraid. <coughs> then he says, I am afraid of that man who doesn't ask me anything because I am bound to provide what is needed 
on any occasion, so I follow him like a shade, so that this man has no desire. He doesn't want anything. So anything what he likes at the same time, I have to provide. So I am bound with that person who comes to satsang and doesn't ask anything. He is given everything, even without asking. I am not aware of any fear of death. I am deathless, yet I have never consciously recognized an experience of the eternal. In is my lack of fear or a delusion. No, you don't lack of anything now. Uh, now you rest assured that what was needed is over. Master Suresha and Bharat Amrita, we have a song here for you. Thank you, dearest, illuminating my life. <coughs> Gomati, please excuse. It's okay. Then who are coming? Uh, Gomati and Suresha and Bharat. <coughs> One you are also singing here, no? Okay, then. <coughs> Most respected Papaji, may I request <coughs> on behalf of me and also on behalf of satsang people, girls and boys, that Suresha, Suresha ji and Shanti ji and Gomati ji and Amrita ji <laughs> sing today and I know that only they are wanting and bursting to sing to you. And many like me, many like me, want to hear song from the mouth of, you know who's, who's this man music? Swamiji. Okay. And, and where are those people? You have to come, no? I would love to sing two songs in Swamiji, one with Gunar and the other one by myself, Satya. Satya. We would like to sing you a song today about joyful play between Shiva and Shakti with love, Shanti and Prakash. So let them sing first that Shiva and Shakti song because they make song themselves, you know? they compose themselves, therefore
friends. Suresha is not here. She's not well today. Hmm? I think she's not well today. She didn't care. Chalo, <coughs> Master <clears throat> again. <laughs> Master of the dawn, you opened up my sleeping eyes. I never knew that I was born, and I like you for your body. See the 
teach me to earn the love you gave to me, the love you gave to me. Master of the dawn, you opened up my sleeping eyes. I never knew that I was born. <laughs> Turn it for me and help me understand and help me understand. Master of the world, you opened up my sleeping eyes. I never knew that I was born. <laughs>